A very common problem is SI joint pain, lower back, upper butt area. The SI joint are on either side of what we call the sacrum. So right here and right here, but you usually feel it in the back. So people call it lower back pain, but it's a little, it's not quite lower back. It's really in the pelvis. So one of the ways this can happen, and I'm going to talk about specifically on the left side. The right side is bad, left side is bad, but they're slightly, they happen for slightly different reasons. But on the left side, what happens is when you have a left pelvis that rotates forward, and as you know, most humans are going to have a left pelvis that's rotated forward compared to the right side. Not only does it rotate forward, but it abducts, it moves away, and then externally rotates. So you see this left pelvis is moving out, forward, out, and externally rotates. In the back, what it looks like, here, 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 notice this bone, this ilium, is going to move internally on this bone, the sacrum, and you have compression forces right there. Now another thing is, because it's excellently rotated, it's going to start to weaken a little bit. There's, there's space where there shouldn't be space. Another issue is when that pelvis rotates forward, the entire pelvis orients to the right. Now you also have a left leg that is oriented to the right, but we don't want that. We want to be able to stay straight. So as a compensation, this left leg will turn out. It turns out and abducts. Now you can see my muscle here, this adductor, which is also right now doubling as a hamstring. When that happens, the insertion points of this muscle move further away from each other, so they stretch. That stretched muscle is going to weaken. Now you're going to lose strength in this junction of the left leg and the left pelvis. In order to have a stable pelvis, in order for this SI joint to not move quite so much and not have to work so hard, you need closure of a femur and a pelvis on the left side. If you don't have that, you're going to have an unstable left pelvis, and an unstable left pelvis is going to lead to an unstable left SI joint because that's what the SI joint is. So what do you do? Well, first you have to reposition the pelvis. You have to bring it out of that rightward orientation. Then you have to use these two important muscles, the left adductor and the left hamstring to help rotate the leg bone back into the, into the pelvis. When you do that, you'll now have closure of that joint and now you'll have a pelvis and a leg bone that can move on top of each other without losing power. Right now, you have no power. Here, you got power. And that is how you get, quite often, not all the time, but quite often, is how you get left SI joint pain in the first place and then resolution of the left SI joint pain, which is by strengthening the left hip.